would have started. And we, when I put all our money together, I put one pound sixty in the whole house. <laughs> we haven't used it for two, three months. Actual cash. Guys, right, I'm going to put us all on mute, except me, obviously. If you just <laughs> think for the last couple of minutes, if you have a, a bolster or a block, it might be handy. Even if you don't have a block, something like a pillow or a cushion that you could use for fish pose and to rest your arms over it at a point. Uh, if there's nothing handy, don't worry, we'll be able to work our way around it. Guys. And we're going to start seated. Closing down your eyes. And relaxing into your comfortable seat. So whatever that feels like for you today. Taking a nice deep breath in through your nose. Exhaling out through your mouth. And letting any tension just disappear out through your body. Giving yourself this little sacred space, this little sacred hour. Being open to listen and feel in to the life energies within you of yin and yang. Feeling into where your body now feels that it's in yang, where yang. Yang, and where it now feels that it's in yin, so just feeling into where your body can soften and where it feels like it's making an effort. Without doing anything, just noticing how this is for you naturally. Noticing your breath, how your breath is naturally. and being open to listen to what that breath might be telling you, what your body might be telling you today. Being open to listen and feeling to the truth of what your body is telling you. Being able to be open and listen to your own truth. Inviting this stillness to come into your body. Inviting everything to make a little less effort if you can, so less effort in the muscles in your face, in your shoulders, in your arms. And noticing the relationship that's happening with your breath, your inhale, your exhale. And watching for the space in between your inhale and your exhale. And making that space a little bit longer, just for the next few breaths. So you can pause at that moment at the bottom of your exhale. Pause at the moment at the top of your inhale. Feeling that effort and ease in your breath. Having your intention to be open, to listen to your truth, to visualize your own truth, be open to listening to your voice and invite your voice in. Keeping your eyes softly closed. As you breathe in, just reach your arms up so they're out and up, reaching up, as if you're reaching up to invite your own truth, your own voice in. 
keeping your arms reaching up, spreading through your fingers, inviting length all the way up through your spine, back of your neck, top of your head. Keeping with that intention of being open to whatever your truth is, whether it's truth in a relationship that you're in, truth in something that you feel you would like to voice, something that you would like to say or aren't saying, or a vision or an intention that you have, and allowing whatever that is for you to be open to, to feel into it, to see what truth that is. Staying with your arms reaching up, spreading through your fingers, as if you're reaching up to grab hold of and invite that truth down. Having one more breath, reaching as high as you can with your fingers. Bring your palms together and breathing out, bringing those prayer hands down, just kissing the crown of your head with your hands. And inviting your thumbs together into your third eye. And then bringing those thumbs just to gently kiss again to your throat. And then bringing them finally to your heart center. Pausing here, relaxing through your shoulders. And we're gonna have one arm together, being open to invite that truth into your voice, hearing how your arm is sounding today. Taking a breath to prepare, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in. fuzzy and inviting your breath to come through the crown of your head into your heart so breathing in different to maybe how we do sometimes breathing in inviting that breath through the crown into your heart space holding for a moment and then when you breathe out allowing it to travel back up through your throat through the crown of your head up towards the sky Inhaling, inviting it down, feeling it travel down through that crown, through your throat, into your heart. Having a little pause there. And as you breathe out, sending that breath back up through your throat, through the crown of your head, and maybe about eight fingers above your head, pausing up there. And inhaling, bringing it down. Having three more breaths like this. Feeling that intention to invite your own truth, invite your own voice and being open to listen to it. Bringing your palms together, rub your palms, getting a little bit of heat in your hands. Just trying to, if you're a bit chilly, you might have to rub them for a little bit longer. Getting as much heat as you can. I'm going to keep your eyes closed for a little bit longer. Once you feel some heat in your hands, instead of placing your hands on your eyes, we're going to place one palm at the front and one palm at the back of your throat. So around your neck. And inviting this warm energy to come through your palms and warm up your neck. Warm up that area of your throat chakra. Warm up that place to be open to your truth, to your true voice. To allow you to speak your heart's desire, or even just listen to it in your own, in your own head, in your own body. Last two more breaths. Okay, staying where you are, 
swap hands. So just change the hand so that you change the one at the front for the one on the back. And noticing any change in temperature, any change in vibration as you move your hands. We're going to keep your eyes closed. Coming back to that breath, drawing it in through the crown of your head into your heart. Just a couple more breaths. And then if you feel comfortable, maintaining that eyes closed position and bringing your, your palms to touch and your forearms to touch. So your elbows and forearms and palms are touching in front of your face. So you're making a 90 degree angle with your elbows and having a nice deep breath in. As you breathe out, open them out to a 90 degree angle and open your eyes. Awesome. Inhaling, bringing them back together. Exhaling, going to try a lion's breath. Doesn't have to be too violent though. Awesome. Inhaling. Exhaling. Going to add rounding your back into a bit of a, a cat back. Awesome, we're going to go for five more, inviting that truth, inviting it to be open. Awesome guys. So the last one, making it a good one. Rest your hands on your knees. So if you need to change the cross of your legs or anything like that, feel free to change that position. And then mobilizing your spine, moving around. So you're starting to bring that circular motion, bringing that energy from your head, from your throat into your heart. If it feels like a good day to close down your eyes, feel free to close down your eyes so that you can just feel into where your body wants to move. And today, focus on moving from your neck as well as your chest. So feeling that openness as you move forwards and feeling that constriction as you move back, noticing where you feel at times your body is surrendering into yin, being passive, and where at times in your body you're being active and moving into more of a yang way. Whichever direction you're moving in, we're going to have one more circle and then change directions. Feeling into that change of movement. Noticing if you went right, how does the left side feel now? Can you feel that, that shift or do you feel any resistance moving one side and the other? inviting your focus to be from that throat so you can feel the openness as you move forwards and any sensation of feeling closed as you move back. Feeling as if you're inviting freedom, freedom to your voice, freedom to that internal voice, Freedom to your external voice. Freedom for your heart to speak its desire through your internal or external voice. Okay, one more circle. Finding your place of stillness. Awesome guys, bringing yourself onto your hands and knees. And you may want 
want to have a, a block or a bolster. We're going to come down into Anahata, but maybe a sort of slightly modified one. So moving your hands or your wrists, so you can almost create a little bit of a, a hammock sort of sway back. If that feels nice, if this doesn't feel comfortable for you today, you can lose the block, keep your hands down in front and aiming your hips up so you're inviting space for your throat and your chest. So you've got your, your bum in the air, your back is in this nice sort of hammock sway position. Awesome guys. And your choice, your practice, if this feels nice with your hands, stay with it. If it's hindering your surrender, totally lose it. Breathing. Oh, super guys. Being open to it. Listen to your truth. Inviting that connection to your pose, knowing that we're going to be here for maybe a couple of minutes. Feeling into this position. Having that intention to find your edge. And allow yourself to breathe through it. Oh, super guys. And as you breathe, inviting that space in your throat, inviting gravity to help you let go in your shoulders. So if your shoulders are fighting or chatting to you, maybe adjust in that position a little bit. Lovely guys, relaxing your feet as much as you can. So that's it, Vivian, nice. Travelling your breath. And even though we're, we're holding this pose, feeling those places where your body is being active and being in yang and inviting that yin side of your body to take over, inviting that surrender, inviting that openness in your throat and inviting your own voice, your own truth, to allow itself to appear and being open to listen. And that you're never completely in yin or completely in yang, that they're always transforming from one into the other. And while you're here, Taking your attention back into that breath, drawing it from the sky through the crown of your head into your heart. Holding it here and feeling that whole journey that your breath has just traveled, feeling the journey of it moving through your throat, opening out your voice and holding it in your heart, connecting to your heart's desire and letting it travel back up through your throat, out into the sky. Keeping this beautiful open channel, knowing any time you need to, while you're in touch with your body, in touch with your own truth, if you feel you need to move it into child's pose, that's your choice. But offering your body the chance to stay here and be open and invite that space in your heart, in your throat.
two more breaths. One more breath. And slowly, with care, going as gently as you can, bringing yourself onto all fours, so gently walking your hands back up. Taking a pause, bringing your knees together and moving into child's pose, slowly taking your sit bones back towards your heels, bowing down towards the earth, coming into whatever comfortable child's pose feels vacant today, whether that's resting your head on your fist or your hand or all the way to the floor. And while you're here, feeling the length in the back of your neck, Two. One more breath. Inhaling, moving on to all fours. Exhaling, downward dog. For seven, seven breaths. Drawing your attention back towards that throat in your heart. Allowing your head to dangle. Leaving everything to be nice and open. Three. Three more breaths. If you have a bolster or a block or anything that, that might possibly be in the way in, in a minute, just shoving it out to the side. And we're going to gently move when we start to move into a, a wave towards plank and into upward dog and back. Okay, so keeping our feet in this position, but as you breathe, rounding your spine and rolling your way, waving your way forwards into a plank, gently dropping your hips, keeping a little bit of engagement in your core, lifting through your chest, lifting through your throat your chin and breathing out using your belly to take you up and back into downward dog and we're going to go for six more waves just going in your own time so you're rounding feeling into your spine dropping through your hips almost as if we're going in slow motion a little bit so not too quickly and then opening through your throat moving back Inhaling, traveling forwards, gently dropping your hips, opening out through your heart, your throat. Oh, gorgeous, guys. Moving back. Okay, so four more. Moving slowly. If it feels like a day to close your eyes, close your eyes and invite yourself to get lost in that movement. Breathing really nice and steady and slowly. Inviting as much movement in your spine as you can. And as you get to the end, pausing and feeling that openness in your throat. Oh, super guys, just two more. Making this the last one. And ending up coming onto your belly. So after the last one, bringing yourself forwards, but lowering yourself all the way down so you come onto your belly. Palms by your sides. Resting your forehead down onto the floor just for a moment. And inviting that beautiful length into the back of your neck. Drawing your belly in. And interlocking your fingers, placing your hands behind your head. 
And for seven, we're going to gently lift up. So breathing in, lifting up, just lifting your head and your chest up and breathing out, forehead back down, inhaling, lifting up, exhaling, and inviting your neck to get a little bit longer, supporting the back of your head with your hand so that you can almost encourage your neck to be a little bit longer and feeling that activation in your back. Three more breaths. Two. One more. And resting hands either side of your chest, moving into sphinx. So sliding your forearms, so maybe your elbows are just a tiny fraction in front of your shoulders. Pressing your palms down. So this is going to be for a hold. So finding your, your place. Maybe before you choose, see how it feels to have your, your legs squeezing together and see how it feels when maybe they're just a little bit apart. And test out how it feels for you pressing down into the floor with your feet, drawing in with your belly. And then when you found that comfortable position that you feel you can maintain, Bring that tension back towards your throat. And with that focus, keeping your throat nice and open. Oh, super. Softening your gaze or closing down your eyes. And inviting that breath through the crown of your head, through your throat, almost feeling that that light of your breath gliding through and arriving in your heart. Breathing out, allowing it to return to the sky. And visualizing your voice, your own true voice. And inviting that voice, whether it's your internal voice or external voice, to speak your heart's desire. And maybe your own true voice has a sound. Maybe it's a musical sound. Maybe it's not the sound of a voice. Maybe it's the sound of piano keys. Or raindrops. Or the ocean. And being open to listen, whatever that sound, whatever that melody or music is, that is your own true voice. Keeping your focus with your breath, with that intention that you have in the beginning. And maintaining this posture. Feeling that position of the sphinx, inviting those collarbones to smile and be open. Inviting those collarbones to smile and speak your truth.
listen to your body, listen to your body speaking to you, speaking its truth, whether you're being able to feel into anywhere that feels yin or feels yang in the life energies that are flowing through your body, taking this time to be open to listen without judgment and inviting that line of communication through your body, through feeling, through that energy that maybe is moving through your heart and in your throat, listening to your own internal voice. Just five more breaths here. Absorbing this stillness, enjoying that stillness where you are and feeling this moment where we're about to enjoy that, that yin. Feeling that yin give birth to into yang. And on your next breath out, allowing your hands to slide down either side of your chest, bowing your head, inhaling, pushing up, coming on to all fours. Pausing for a moment, allowing your spine to settle, and then slowly with care, gently pushing back into child's pose. Inhaling, rising up, all fours. Exhaling, downward dog. Inhaling, shifting to plank. Pausing for a moment, lowering, chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Inhaling, lifting through your heart, upward dog, looking up. Exhaling, downward dog. Keep staying where you are if you want to, or moving in the same way with me. Maybe moving in the same way is a little bit better to just keep that energy moving, shifting to plank, breathing out, lowering down. Inhaling, upward dog, looking up. Exhaling, downward dog. Awesome, guys. Extending your right leg up, three legged dog, extending it up. Feeling that full length of your body. Exhaling, right foot in between your hands, left heel down. Warrior one, reaching your arms up, coming up. Breathing out into humble warrior. So as you exhale, interlock your fingers behind your back, bowing down. Offering your head down, arms up. Three. Two. One more breath. I'm going to release the right hand down to the floor, outside edge of your right foot. And then extending your left arm up, bend your left elbow and reach behind your head with your left hand and then holding onto your head, lifting up through your spine, through your neck, stretching out, looking up towards the ceiling, inviting that neck to be nice and open, either keeping your hand here or if it feels like the right time, gently pull your, the base of your head a little bit and then release your hand, extending it up, opening out through your throat, having a nice deep breath in. I'm going to circle your arm down, so reaching your arm back behind you, all the way down to the floor to frame your right foot. Pausing to breathe in. And step your back plank, lower down, chaturanga, all knees, chest, chin, inhaling, upward dog. Exhaling, downward dog. 
the left leg up three legged dog, extending your left leg high to the sky. Exhaling, left foot in between your hands. Inhaling, warrior one, rising up. Exhaling, come warrior, releasing your hands, bowing down, head down, heart down. Feeling that breath, move the energy in your body. Two. The last breath, and release your left hand down to the outside edge of your left foot. Reach your right arm up. Awesome, bending your elbow, reaching behind your head, base of your skull, and almost if you're giving yourself a little massage, so lengthening, opening out your throat, gazing up towards the sky. Invite that openness, invite that space into your throat. Nice guys, awesome, awesome. And then if it feels right for you, giving it a little bit of an extra pull and extending that right arm up. Opening it up, feeling that beautiful length all the way through your right side. Three, two, last breath, windmilling that right arm back and down. Framing your left foot, step it back to plank, lower down. Inhaling, heart lifting, looking up. Exhaling, downward dog. Steady breath in, breath out through your mouth. And shifting to plank, coming down all the way down to your belly, lower down. Interlock your fingers behind your back. Inhaling, lifting through your shoulders, coming into Salabhasana. Maybe raise your legs if it doesn't feel like a raise your legs today. It's totally okay, you don't have to. Keeping your throat nice and open. Oh, nice, awesome, guys. It's not going to be for too long, okay? You're going to have three breaths, and on the last one, have an aligned breath, keeping that nice openness in your throat. One, two, going for lines breath. Releasing, hands down, forehead down. Inhaling, all fours. Exhaling, down the dog. Right leg to the sky, reaching it up. Okay, pausing here. It's going to be a sort of fallen triangle variation. Exhaling, right knee in towards your chest. Sweep it under and across. Can keep both hands down if you need to today. Otherwise, move the weight to your right hand, similar to what we've just done. Extend your left arm up, and then bend your left elbow, holding onto the base of your skull and opening up, aiming that throat towards the sky, lengthening through the back of your neck. <sighs> Inviting that sensation of of truth and your true voice to be welcomed into your throat, extending that left arm out, having a nice deep breath, feeling as if you're opening to your true voice and expression, breathing out, both hands to the floor, inhaling, three-legged dog, exhaling, downward dog, vinyasa, or stay where you are, shifting to plank, lower down, Inhaling, upward dog, looking up. Exhaling, downward dog. Left leg to the sky, reaching it up. Exhaling, left knee in towards your chest, sweep it on under and across. Getting steady, reaching that right arm up. Okay, just taking your time. If today you're bending that elbow, bend your elbow, reaching for the base of your skull and almost like you're giving yourself that little adjustment and massage, holding on to the base of your skull so you can lengthen through your neck and then extending through that right arm. 
Keep inviting this voice to come in, this internal or external voice, feeling that openness of your throat, being open to listen to that creative expression, however it's flowing through you. One more breath. And releasing, both hands down, three-legged dog. Exhaling, downward dog. Inhaling, shifting to plank. And lower down, just come down to your belly. Interlocking your fingers, taking your hands behind your head. So same as before, just for seven. Allowing your forehead to connect to the floor. And inviting those back muscles to activate, inviting that, that truth to come in through your throat. Inhaling, lifting your head up, shoulders up. Exhale to bow. One, inhale. Exhaling to bow. Inhale. Exhaling bow. Three, four more. Three more. Two more. The last one. And then rest your arms by your side, turn your head whichever direction feels right for you. Allowing everything to settle and just be nice and still in your body. Two. One. And inviting your hands either side of your chest, pressing up onto all fours and moving into child's pose keeping your arms in front so keeping your arms in front keeping a little bit of space in that throat area maybe resting your head if your head doesn't comfortably touch the floor resting it on a block or a pillow Inviting that breath, inviting that breath to be nice and deeply running through your body. you next breathe in come up to sitting on your heels so you're kneeling down so gently sitting back with your arms breathing in reaching your arms up palms together exhaling bringing them down to your heart okay six more inhalings if you're inviting that voice Inviting your true voice, exhaling, feeling it draw all the way down into your heart. Inhaling, reaching your arms up. Exhaling down. Four more, inhaling, reaching up. Exhaling, inviting it down. Inhaling, reaching up. Exhaling it down. So the last one, inhaling, reaching up. Exhaling, inviting it down. Closing down your eyes for a moment. Being open to listen. thumb on a block or a boxer. So taking your time if you do want to get hold of anything, otherwise sliding your sit bones up, extending your legs forwards and slowly inviting yourself down, taking your time, coming down. 
bringing your knees in, extending your legs up. So if you wanted to stay with more of a, a yin theme, staying with your, your legs up, taking whatever you need to make it a more relaxing position for you, if it's a block underneath your bum, if you feel that your own truth is asking for something more demanding or more yang, then moving into shoulder stand. So being open to listen to what your, your body, your inner truth is really saying to you. So not what you, you think that you should do, but what your real truth inside of you, that true internal voice is inviting, inviting you to move into. Knowing that wherever you've chosen, you're going to stay for maybe two or three minutes. If you have chosen to move into shoulder stand, maybe you're feeling a different openness in your uh, throat chakra in that space around your neck. Maybe you're feeling it in the back of your neck. If you've chosen to come into uh, or, or legs up, then feeling that openness in the front of your throat. I mean, neither one is right or wrong, just being open to be here, visualizing your true voice and inviting it in, inviting it down, having this intention to let your physical body become still. Maybe softening your gaze wherever you are and inviting that true voice and be open to allow your imagination to offer the sound of what that true inner voice is. Is it really a voice or is it the sound of something else? The sound of raindrops, the sound of piano keys, the sound of the ocean. the sound of birds. And what is your truth? What is your true voice trying to communicate to you today? If you went for a shoulder stand, moving into snail pose or Karnakandasana, bending your knees and bringing your knees to go either side of your ears. And if you are in legs up the wall or another pose, and this is something that you enjoy, moving into that, so maybe pressing your palms, lifting your hips and drawing one knee to either side of your ears. If you know that your truth today isn't moving into that pose, then going for happy baby. And if you are resting on a block or a bolster, you can still stay with that, that block or bolster underneath you and move into happy baby in that same place. And this is your practice, your truth, listening to whatever that is in your physical body today. Notice in the position of, of where your neck is, if you are feeling openness in the back or the front. Oh, 
super by super staying where you are but knowing if you have a prop or anything that is underneath your hips we're going to move gently into a sort of l-shaped legs up position to move eventually into fish pose lowering your legs so if you know that that item possibly underneath you could be impinging that move then maybe taking a moment to move it out of your way and slowly uncurling so you come back into that L shape and from that L shape lowering your legs down slowly so that you have control of that movement gently taking them down as you feel your legs connect to the floor you can allow your truth to decide for you you could use a, a bolster or a prop to bring you into fish pose or if you feel happy without maybe sitting on your hands using your elbows to lift up your heart and connecting the crown of your head to the floor offering that beautiful space for your throat to be nice and open if it's a day when a bolster or a block is calling your name to go either underneath your back or underneath your head you can either use two blocks or a pillow or something to open out your chest keeping your your head a little bit supported so your head isn't dangling in space Feeling that openness of your heart and your oh lovely guys, awesome. And if your truth today is to have your legs in Buddha Kanasana or cross legs or straight legs, that is your choice. But focusing on this lovely lift and arch of your spine, openness of your heart, and ultimately openness of your throat. Settling into whichever version of Matsyasana fish pose you've chosen. And while you're here, breathing into that beautiful openness of your throat. Visualizing your truth, your voice. Inviting it to come down through the crown of your head into your throat from your throat into your heart and moving from your heart back through your throat out into the sky. You're gonna take five breaths where you are and on the fifth one, having your fifth one as a lion's breath, being that expression of your own truth Imagine that your lion's breath is making the sound of your truth, whether that's a musical sound, the sound of your voice. Imagine that you can feel that vibration. If you feel called to, taking a second, maybe a third lion's breath. And in your own time, in however it feels most comfortable for your body, slowly releasing that position. So if you have uh, an item underneath you, maybe moving it out. If you know you're comfortable where you are, you can always stay there. And bringing yourself into a, a long position, so you're just extending through your legs, 
and extending through your arms, interlocking your fingers and lengthening through your whole body. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. One more, finding that length through your body. With your fingers still interlocked, take your hands behind your head, cupping the base of your skull, and offering this last little opportunity to lengthen through the back of your neck. So gently lifting up through the back of your skull, lengthening the back of your neck, And releasing your arms out. Allowing your feet to move out, your legs to move out to the outside edges of your mat. And preparing yourself for a Shavasana. Moving your arms out, keeping that throat space nice and open. If you know today you would like to take a longer period in Shavasana, then turning off your screen so that you can just enjoy and rest as long as you need to, knowing that this is your practice, listening to your truth. check in with your body before you fully let go. Noticing if there's anywhere in your body in this moment that still feels like it could be in yang and can you invite it to give way into yin and just let go. If it feels right for you then I have a, a couple of breaths tensing everything in your body as if you're bringing everything into this activeness to make way for letting go. If you feel that you're already there, then just stay in where you are, taking a breath in, holding that breath and tensing everything, inviting that tension into your arms, your legs, your feet, your face, your lips, your jaw, everything, holding that breath, tensing everything in your body, and then releasing with a sigh, maybe a noisy sigh. <sighs> Letting go of tension in your muscles, in your breath. Just allowing a couple of breaths to move through your body. And then having one last one, taking a deep breath in and fill up as much as you can with that breath. Hold your breath here and tense everything. Tensing your arms, your hands, your legs, your chest, your stomach, your back, your buttocks, your face lips, jaw, keep holding your breath, keep staying here, keep staying here and then let it go with a sigh, let go of everything <sighs> and give way, just let go Inviting your truth, inviting your heart to speak its desire. Inviting your own internal voice. And be open to listen. Open to Listen to your truth, visualize your truth, speak your truth. With kindness, with kindness directed to you, and with kindness directed to those who are around you.
Time to breathe with a little bit more intention. Inviting that same breath to come in through the crown of your head into your heart. Maybe this breath today now maybe has a blue light or maybe there's a different colour but inviting this clear channel of energy to come through your breath, down through the crown of your head, through your throat, into your heart space. As you breathe out, feeling it float back up. And inviting that breath to gently Encourage a little movement in your body. Be open to your own truth. So whatever that feels like today. So if it's a different way of moving to how I'd normally offer, then move whatever way feels right for you. Could be maybe your head first today, or your feet, or your arms, or your fingers. If you want to have a stretch, move in a stretch. If you want to hug your knees in, draw them in. Trust in your own instinct to move, either roll into the side or gently bring yourself up. And you have all the time in the world so you can move as slowly as you want to yourself back into a seated position bringing those prayer hands together and before we sound those arms closing down your eyes and using our arms as an expression to invite that truth back in as you breathe in reach your arms out and up bring your palms together above your head and breathing out bringing them down to the crown then to your throat, arriving at your heart, and inviting three ohms to sound out your own truths, breathing in, breathing out to prepare. Noticing how that feels, keeping your intention to be open to listen to that, that truth from your heart, listen to your true voice for the rest of your week, and offering a bow inwardly to your own inner teacher, your own inner guide. And whenever you feel ready, opening your eyes, offer namaste, maybe unmuted if you feel called to, if not, I totally understand. Namaste. 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 Namaste, thank you. Thanks, guys. Namaste. 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 See you all later, guys. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Jaya. Yeah, bye bye. Nice evening. Hey, that was gorgeous. Oh, thank you. I think we should hop off after that first time where it didn't it glitched or something. <laughs> yeah. It was a good idea. <laughs> I'll be back. I'm going to make myself a cup of tea and stuff, so I'll be back a little yeah, bit later. You too. <laughs> See you in a bit. See you in a bit. Bye.